Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're going to look at making our own virtual network. So we made a resource group, but we also need a virtual network or VNet, so we actually have some uh, network to launch our resources within. So what I want you to do is make your way all the way to the top here, and we're going to go ahead and type in VNet, which uh, will get virtual networks, and go ahead and click that. And if you notice, you don't have any networks, so we're going to have to go ahead and create our own. So go ahead and hit the Add button. And uh, we're going to have a bunch of options here. I'm just going to name this, uh, oh, sorry, we're going to choose that resource group, so Exam Pro. And we're just going to name this Exam Pro VNet. And there are some additional steps here. We'll just take a peek here. We don't really need to change anything, but we'll just take a look. So for IP address, you can set the IP address space. It's going to default to 10.0.04.16, which is very good for us. You can see that it supports IPv6, which is great. It's going to create us a default subnet, which is going to be 10.0.04/24. That's going to be a subnet with uh, like 256 um, IP addresses, which is great. If we go to the security tab, um, we have DDoS protection basic, and you just definitely want to stay on that because that is free. Same thing with the firewall. We don't want it on because that's going to cost extra money. I'm going to go back to basics. We're going to hit review plus create. And we're just going to wait for validation to complete. This could be instantaneous for you, or you could wait a few seconds. It's different for everybody. And now the validation has completed, we'll go ahead and hit Create. And so we'll just wait for that to finish creating. Great, so it's created, so it's just saying deployment is underway. So we're just gonna have to wait a little bit here until it says deployment is complete, and it's already done super fast. And we'll go ahead and hit go to resource. And so now we are in our virtual network, and we have a bunch of settings on the left-hand side, so address space, subnets, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing we need to know at this level. Um, we just need that virtual network so we can launch resources in. So now that we have resource groups and virtual networks, we can start launching resources. So there you go, I'll see you in the next follow along.